Tyler Rake, a fearless black market mercenary, embarks on the most dangerous extraction of his career where he's enlisted to rescue the kidnapped son of an imprisoned international crime lord. What's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new review and today we're talking about the new action thriller starring Chris Hemsworth. That's right, Thor himself in Extraction. Film that had a lot of buzz going into it. I'm excited to let you all know my thoughts on the movie, give you my score of the film, and let you know if it's worth checking out on Netflix this weekend. Before we dive into it, as you can see on the screen now, if you're new to this channel, definitely subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Really helps out the channel, but also really appreciate it. And last but not least, if and when you've seen this film, Extraction, what'd you guys think about it? Did you enjoy the action, the story? Let me know your pros, your cons, all that fun stuff in the comments below. So as I had mentioned this last week or so, there's been a pretty good amount of buzz. I made a post about it a couple weeks ago when I saw the trailer and I was pretty excited for it because I was, number one, I'm a big Chris Hemsworth fan, I'm a big MCU fan, and he's had some hit and misses when it comes to action films like uh, Black Hat and some other films that came out in the last year. But I, I like him as a personality, as an actor, and he seems like a pretty cool guy. So I was definitely wanting to support the film. And then you look at the people behind the scenes. Joe Russo wrote the film. You have uh, the, the director, Sam Hargrove, who's worked with the Russo brothers many times as a stunt coordinator. This is his first film, so I'm always intrigued to see how a stunt coordinator translates to directing a film. As we know, with the uh, John Wick franchise, you have the directors that are stunt coordinators, and those films are incredible. Some of my favorite action films to date. So I was really, really interested in this film, guys, and I'm going to start off with the positives, as I always do. What I expected is exactly what I got, but also a little bit more. Now, going into that in more in particular, Again, you have this director, Sam, who's known for stunts with the MCU and Atomic Blonde and other franchises, and this is his first time directing a film. And you have the movie being written by uh, Joe Russo, which this film was actually based on a small, short comic that came out in 2014. And I saw the trailer, and I'm like, okay, I know the action's gonna be there. But as soon as the action actually takes place, it surprised the hell out of me in the best way possible. I've seen a couple of different people comment on this on Twitter, saying this reminds them a little bit of John Wick. And I can see those. It doesn't hit those highs like John Wick for me, but it definitely had some moments where it was John Wick with the gun fu type of uh, choreography that they had in the film mixed with a little bit of the raid, which is my favorite action films in the last decade, Raid 1 and 2. And it had a little bit of those shades of those movies. Again, it doesn't get to those heights, but the thing I love about what Sam did with this film, him being coordinator, is the velocity of the punches that landed by Chris Hemsworth. Again, he's a big dude. He's 6'3", 6'4", so when he's punching people, he's not putting holes through people's chest, but I felt those punches when he's kicking people. To me, it's like it's almost like this film did a better job and when Thor, the actual god of thunder, punches someone where I feel like his punches don't really take the same effect as I would imagine in reality, but this film, he's kicking people through walls and it's just brutal. I love the action in this film. The first two acts, the first action set piece was just incredible. There's this car chase that I thought was really well shot. Again, I cannot commend this film enough from the action level. It is really well done. Again, this shows you, and again, stunt coordinators don't get the, the, the credit they deserve when it comes to award winning uh, the award season, but this film definitely highlights what happens when you have a stunt coordinator direct the film. You get true, brutal, violent, awesome action. I really love that. There are some other things that I liked about the film. Number one, I'm a big fan of Chris Hemsworth, as I had mentioned. His character is pretty generic in a sense. You kind of get an idea where he's coming from, where he's at in his life, and kind of his motivations in the film, but you've seen the character before, but I will commend Chris Hemsworth. Again, the action. I did not, I've never seen Chris Hemsworth move this way. The stunt choreography, I've been following the the film, the kind of behind the scenes on Instagram, and they show like the one of the, the uh, knife fights and how Chris Hemsworth actually did those fights in the stunt coordination. I thought that Chris did a good job of handling the action. And there were some emotional moments I thought he hid and the chemistry between him and the kid, Ovi, I thought was pretty solid. But honestly, my biggest thing as far as the acting goes comes from the supporting cast members. You have the kid that plays Ovi. I really kind of liked his character and kind of where he was coming from. And sometimes with these films, the kids don't really hit the emotional beats as you would like them to. But for me, I really enjoyed the performance that we got from the kid, Ovi. Uh, you know, Serja, I believe was his name who worked for Ovi's dad, I thought that, if I'm being honest with you guys, I was more emotionally connected to his story, and I wish that they would have gave his story to Chris Hemsworth, because I thought it would have just been a little bit more emotionally satisfying, for me at least, but I thought he was a really good character. Uh, there's uh, Nick Khan, I believe, of his uh, Tyler's kind of friend or partner or romantic interest at some point. I'm not sure what that was in the film, but I liked her. I thought she was a badass, and 
She was incredibly beautiful as well, but I thought she was great. So really the supporting cast, everyone in this film was really solid. No one really took me on the film as regards to the acting. There were some surprising subplots, some side characters that I think weren't going to be that big into the movie, but actually ended up being a little bit more pivotal than I expected. Uh, David Harper makes an appearance in this film. I forgot that he was in this movie. I kind of liked his character at first. I'm like, what is he doing in this film? But I actually liked the scene that kind of played out with him and Chris Hemsworth. So as a film, guys, really good action. We'll talk about the story here in a bit in my cons, but I like the action. I like the performances, and, and first-time director did a really good job. Again, the action is top level in my opinion, and I was a really big fan of the action in this film. Again, this is just one of those old-school action shoot 'em up kung fu john wick raid level type of action in this film that i really enjoy so this film isn't anywhere near perfect as there really isn't many perfect films out there but in regards to some of my cons i'll address kind of the, the nitpick things so again i enjoyed the stunt choreography and hand-to-hand -hand combat and the back and forth that we get there but there were some like there was something they were doing with the camera when it was close combat that they were kind of swoop in and i think that was when they were cutting the scenes because one of the things i did like about the action was you felt how the act they were tired they were breathing heavy i like that that realism to the to the action there was this, some weird thing they kept doing with the camera that just kept getting kind of annoying in my opinion uh, as well as there was a particular threat line with the tyler character that had flashbacks to his son not getting into that storyline because it's a spoiler free review but i thought that that kind of just didn't feel right again if they would have gave him the story line they gave Sanju I believe his name was I would have enjoyed that storyline more for Christmas worth rather than what we got just on a personal level but in particularly the really the big things that kind of got to me were You've seen this story before. It's very predictable, very bland in a sense of the story that we get. You have Chris Hemsworth as a mercenary trying to get this kid out of, you know, the situation he's in. You've seen this many times. It kind of reminded me a little bit of Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. There's a lot of other films this reminded me of. So there's the predictability factor to it. The second half kind of hits a bit of a lull because you're coming off this huge high from the first action set piece that is just amazing. And then this film kind of slows down and it kind of just didn't, it, the pacing didn't feel right in the second act. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more character development from all the characters, but in particular Chris Hemsworth, again, if they would have gave him another storyline that I actually preferred more with that uh, Sunju character, I thought that it would have been a little bit more uh, emotionally connected for me. Uh, and then not giving anything away, but that ending, I'm very curious on what you guys thought about the, not the leading up to the ending, but the actual last shot of the film. I want to know what you guys thought about that and kind of where you guys are at. Without spoiling anything, if you do want to comment on that, put spoilers, space it 10 down, and then let me know your thoughts on the last shot of the film, what you guys kind of interpret that last moment in. But you know, wrapping up this review, guys, this action was incredible. Uh, I really enjoyed the supporting cast members. was very impressed by first-time director. Really liked the, uh, the elements that he added to the film. And again, the realism, the brutality of this action. I'll watch this film again, guys, because I was so impressed by the action. Those first two big action set pieces were really, really good. The third act set piece you, you, is, again, I can't iterate enough and repeat enough. The first two action set pieces are so incredible. By the time you get to the third act, it kind of didn't. It's a little underwhelming compared to those first two action set pieces. But all in all, this is much better than I expected. Again, I watch a lot of Netflix content. As you guys know, there's a lot of highs. There's a lot of lows. And this is kind of just falls kind of in that high level for me. I'm going to give this film a 3.5 out of 5. I really, really enjoyed this film. It was a lot better than I expected. I was so impressed by the action. The story's predictable. I would have liked some more character development, but all in all, for a Netflix action film, and I've seen a lot of them that aren't that great, this is above average. Again, 3.5 out of 5. Let me know what you guys thought of Extraction once you get a chance to see it. Give me some of your favorite Chris Hemsworth performances. What are some of your favorite action movies? Like I said, The Raid and John Wick are like on top level, top shelf for me personally, but let me know some of you guys' picks. As always, like, share, comment below, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell so you don't miss any of my content. And speaking of content, this weekend, I got a lot of stuff planned. I'm going to be watching Defending Jacob, the first episodes, first three episodes on Apple TV+. Plus. I have a huge watch along for Infinity War and Endgame this weekend. I'm going to leave those links below in the description. We have Bad Education on uh, HBO. We got episode three of Run on HBO and so much more coming for you guys. So definitely hit that bell so you don't miss any of that content. Follow me on all my social media accounts. Thank you guys for all the support and we'll see you in the next video.